three, two, one. What's up, mi gente? Let's get right into this episode. My life featuring Drake is, I think, what the title is going to be for this video. Now, is this or is this not the fourth video I shoot in a row? Yes. Was the second episode a hard episode for me? Yes. Am I still pushing through? Yes. Now, do I have to edit these videos and post them before the month of July ends? Yes. Am I going to do it? Yes. Is there a lot of shit happening in my life? Yes. Am I going a little bit crazy? Yes. Is everything thrown at me that's gone on this year going to stop me? No. We're going to keep pushing. And the reason I'm wearing my hat like this is an homage to the man, the myth, the goat, my favorite artist. That's right, I said it. My favorite artist. The one and only Drizzy Aubrey fucking Drake. I have to let the people know I've been a fan. And when it comes to him, I'm more... I don't like calling myself a fan of people, okay? I'm gonna be honest with you. I just don't. i rather call myself a supporter. Because what I do, fun fact, and this video lives out there in the internet, my first concert ever was to the United Center, downtown Chicago to see Drake. And that was the first time he performed, you know, in an arena. And this was 13 or 14. I was already out of high school. I never went to a concert before that. I was working, I paid for it. I remember it was like 120 bucks, set in the first section. I went with a friend from school, shout out to Adeline. We went to go see, would you like a tour? I think that was off his Take Care album. Well, that video is out there in the internet. You want a challenge? Go find it. <laughs> like I said, I'm wearing my head is to an homage to the old Drake. I'm not a fan of Degrassi. I know a lot of people know him from Degrassi and then they were like, oh, let me give him a listen. And then he became the biggest thing in hip hop. To me, the way I was introduced to Drake was an English class of my freshman year, the first semester. I remember like all the girls were like, oh my God, Drake, Drake, Drake. Even from back then. And this was, I was in high school in 08. A lot of people were talking and uh, they had shown me a picture. I remember it vividly to this day. It was him in a purple sweater. I think this might have been his like his first official photo shoot because that picture was around for a little bit. It was him in a purple like hoodie with a black vest, a hat like this, some baggy jeans with some, you know, supers or whatever. I remember my friend Chris, he literally copied that and like our school was like every Friday or only for your birthday you can dress down because we used to wear uniforms. I remember for whatever occasion we were able to dress down, he came dressed just like that. And I was like, oh my God, this guy. And people were like, people were clowning him because they're like, why are your pants? Like, they weren't baggy pants. They're like skinny baggy pants. And people were clowning him like, look at this kid. What, what, what are those shoes? And mind you, those kids that laughed at that kid, literally the year after, I saw them in skinny jeans and then they not they did not take it off until probably this day. I saw that happen. I listened to his first album which was Thank Me Later and I remember he had signed it and a lot of I don't know if a lot of people remember this but this is how much of a Drake fan I am. He had this like deal because I know Nicki Minaj did it with MTV and they were like it was like a behind the scenes of his first album, his like first real album which was uh Thank Me Later. And what I'm going to do in this video which I don't have enough time. I mean, I can, you know, pause. I can talk about this man for a long time because I am one of his biggest supporters. And so, whatever. I remember that, you know, Thank Me Later came out. And I remember he had two mixtapes people had talked about. I was like, comeback season. I've personally only, only have heard comeback season one time from beginning to end. That was it. Uh, I know there was one called Room, Room for Improvement. Never heard that. Then Thank Me Later came out. I remember watching him on MTV and he was mad because he had an injury or something. He couldn't go to his New York show. And he had, uh, this is like his, his spe like special thing he was going to do that night. He was like, yeah, we're going to have the show outside. And I was going to tell everybody to take out their phones and the, from the light of the phones to put it in the air. And he was like, I was going to make a moment. And it's funny because now, like, every artist literally tells you, turn on your, you know, your light or your flashlight, put it in the air when they sing, you know, a special song. I'm like, damn, Drake was ahead of the wave. Like, this was him, you know, back then. He was ahead of the wave. And this was like 09, so album comes out. Fan of it. I get the album. Now, if you're wondering, do I have every single physical copy that he's dropped? I do. That's the type of fan. 
supporter that I am. <laughs> so I don't want to get this wrong. So I'm basically going to walk through the albums and the reason why I'm calling. Like, the reason he's my favorite artist, and don't get me wrong, Bad Bunny, up there. Jay-Z, up there. Like, but to me, you have to understand, when I was, oh, my bad. To me, this is my dog again, Jerry, making a, another appearance. Doesn't know what he wants to do. I don't know. He's at the door, but whatever. So to me, like, every album that Drake has dropped, and I'm going to say this, and this is probably going to piss off a lot of people. I personally don't think that this man has dropped a classic album. A lot of people like to throw, Take Care was not a classic. I heard Take Care, and I've been listening to a lot of Drake recently, and... I still don't think that Take Care is a class. It's a great album. And mind you, my favorite artist. And the reason I like Drake is for two reasons. He says everything he has to say on his like his music. Like my favorite, if you ask me, hey, what's your favorite song from? It's not going to be Started From The Bottom, Now We're Here. It's not going to be Nonstop. It's not going to be a hit. My favorite song from this man is You and The Six. It's a song about him and his mom from if you're reading this it's too late i believe before this video ends I, the reason that I, that I say he's my favorite artist is because while i grow he's still putting out music and it just happened that the artist that i gravitated to when i was in high school was drake and he was just starting and it's not my fault he became the biggest thing like i've been you know my first concert would you like a tour the second one was i think it was jungle and that was when he dropped his, um, if you're reading this, it's too late, like in between, because it had the song Jungle in it, and he made a tour, but it was like only eight cities exclusively here, I went there. And then he did uh, Summer 16, which I went to, and then the most recent, I think it was like last year, two years ago, he, excuse me, he dropped Aubrey and the Three um, uh, Amigos tour, and obviously I was there. And that video, you can actually see that vlog is actually on this channel. So if you ever want to go back and check it out, it's there. But the reason why I say he's, it's my life featuring Drake is because I feel like the generation before me or even two generations before me, like the way that they saw like a Frank Sinatra and there, that was like, that's my artist. That's who I'm going to always listen to. Like, you know, that's who they went because they grew up with a guy and he released music for years. And that's what Drake is doing. Like, he releases great music. He's still doing it to this day. He just dropped two hit songs with Khaled. Then he came back. He, he, he started rapping or singing in Arabic. And, like, he's just, you know, he he flows with the time. And he's to me, it's timeless music, right? So, for example, so far, Gone, biggest, you know, mixtape. That's what kind of catapulted him into a stardom. Then Thank Me Later was his like debut album, which I feel like Young Money and it was more like an album, like a studio album, but it was like more of a label. I saw that. Then he made appearances in like the comps, Young Money albums where there are two of them. I think it was Young Money Empire was one of them. And the other one was like, I think it was just self-titled Young Money, but whatever. So then Take Care comes out. Take Care comes out in 2011. I'm a junior and like this is when social media is getting big and i was like yo like i remember going you know being senior year and listening to crew love and being in a car with like six other guys that only sits five and we're all singing crew love like you know a little sus but whatever like i remember that that's a moment you know like this guy has music that he's dropped that it's meant had it's had moments in my life and i just appreciate it you know so take care was high school thank me later was high school take care was high school Nothing was the same. 2013. Now this, I was 19 years old, I want to say. And I remember exactly when I had this. My friend, my, you know, then friend Chris, I had got him into to work with me at Best Buy. And I remember the day he dropped it, he, we went to work together and we were just blasting this music. And, oh no, we weren't driving together. We had just got out of work. He was driving, I was behind him. And we were just going down the street blasting uh, nothing was the same. And I didn't want to be like, oh, this is my favorite song from this album. Cause it's like, it changes, you know, it's like whatever mood you're in. Then in 2015, if you're reading this, it's too late. I remember I was playing billiards and one of my friends, shout out to Anthony Ruiz. He texted me. He's like, yo, he, at this point, I mean, I met him, I think at Best Buy. And he even knew I was a big Drake fan. He was like, hey, did you hear Drake's new album? I was like, he didn't drop an album. He's like, no, he did it like surprisingly. Like nobody knew it was gonna, it was a surprise album. I was like, what? 
and he literally dropped this album and it was like midnight and I was listening to The Way Back Home. I was like, yo, this, this album's great, you know? And then after that, What A Time To Be Alive, great album, Views, great album, uh, More Life. He gave us like a playlist as an album, crazy. Scorpion, amazing album. That's the one that he had where he performed his uh, last. And then during quarantine, he decides to drop dark lane demo tapes which are like all his lucy's and here's the thing before that last year he dropped care package which were like when and when i say lucy's it's like his songs that like he released but he never put them in an album they were just literally his lucy's like oh whatever it's just music i have left and i remember from one of his interviews he always said that he like he doesn't make a hundred songs like a little wayne does he makes 15 11 if he knows in his if he's in album mode He'll make those songs and then, you know, he throws these Lucy's. When I heard that care, uh, care package, I was like, yo, this was like a a mix of like from the moment I started listening to him in 08 to all the way into like last year, 2019. I'm like, damn, this guy's been doing it for 11 years. Like, and he's still been on top. This man has literally made music throughout my whole life. And, you know, his, his breakup songs and, you know, like depending where you're in your life, the music hits you differently. And then literally not even a month or two months ago, he drops Dark Lane demo tapes, which is another set of Lucy's with like a few new songs. And I'm just like, yo, and I'm going to put this in the record. I'm going to say this now. So you remember that I was the first one to say this. Drake, I promise you now, his next album, he's due for an album. He's supposed to drop an album this year in 2020. Is it going to happen? I don't know. I hope so. But I'm going to say it now and and before everyone starts claiming it, his next album will be his classic album. Hands down, period. That's how I'm going to end this video. So with all that being said, I will see you in the next video.